Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back in Lumber Tycoon 2! <coughs> Sorry. Um, it's really late. So, um, yeah, what I've done is I've planked out all my little palm woods, and they're now all in one by ones. So, we are ready to start building just crazy builds. But, um, what I did last time was I showed you how to build up, right? So, you know how to build upwards. But what happens when you come back in and you have to build a cross and like start filling in like the cross sections? That's what I'm going to show you tonight is um, the process of like taking these uneven ones and starting to just build a cross and fill in the blanks. So I'm going to do that. But what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like to make this nice and even, even Steven. And uh, I just realized like I am one unit over like look at this like see right there this should have been over like two and then all of these ladders should have been over two so they would be all even to that side but i digress i think i think it'll be okay um what i will do is i will do um ladders on this side right and then once i get up to like right about her i'm going to like then then i'll i won't worry about it so that's going to be the episode tonight. It's just trying to get these to fill in on the side. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I am back in a private server again because uh, once again, I sat there and was trying to build and things were getting flung. And well, it's just easier for me to come over here to make a video. Um, I will still continue to play in public servers. Don't get me wrong. Love you guys, love playing with you, but there's just sometimes like I've got to get a video done and I uh, can't be disturbed. Like that doesn't that doesn't sound right. I still like playing with you guys, I promise. Alright, it's really fun. But I gotta I gotta go. I gotta do this. So let's go ahead and build our ladders first. And uh, for those of you that are asking, oh my goodness, how is he building with one unit? I've got the power. There's a thing called the um, ease of build power. You buy it from the strange man. He's inside the strange cave where you can take strange punk pions and uh, if you want. I don't recommend the strange punk pions. I actually recommend the work lights if you're going to go in there. By the way, um, Fortnite is amazing. I know that everybody's like, oh my gosh, he's talking about Fortnite. Yeah, I am because it's fun. And I've started playing with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard, and I tend to be a, a much faster builder over there. Speaking of which, um, I was thinking about doing just a build video on Fortnite, like just building, going to the playground and just build, 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 and I'll like pretend like I'm in Lumber Tycoon or something like that. Um, but that was an idea. Uh, I might try and convince Dig Dug or Dark J or Mummy to go in there, and we'll just pretend. Fortnite is lumber, or <laughs> I don't know. It's an idea, it's a thought. Oh, also expect a uh, video to come out soon with Captain Joe. Captain Joe, and uh, yeah, he's another Roblox YouTube YouTuber. So, um, don't know what game we're gonna go play, but we have been messaging back and forth. We have ideas get a collab going pretty soon uh, for those of you that have been asking code can we do a collaboration I have been looking at a few of the people that have been commenting that um, make sure you have a channel on YouTube because that's what a collaboration is <laughs> if you ask for a collaboration um, collaboration is where two youtubers like usually of different genres um, for example, uh, the, the okay, the, the best thing I can think of for a collab would be um, oh Bob, Bobby Joe Joe Bobby Joe 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 Bobby Bobby what's Bobby's name? Uh, Bobby Yarslick. There we go. So Bobby um, B Slick creates music right so he he does music on his channel he's a composer very good he's also a graphics designer a graphics artist and just he's really good at his job um he makes music 
Well, there's other people that create video games, right? Create Roblox games. The collaboration of the composer and the musician to produce um, two separate videos. Like one is like the music of Jailbreak and then the other one is, hey, this music was made in Jailbreak and it's a Jailbreak video. Like that's, that's a collaboration. So, I don't know. Uh, just thoughts, ideas. Ooh, there we go. I mean, you could also be like, hey, I'm a Jailbreak YouTuber and you're a Lumber Tycoon 2 YouTuber. Let's go do introductions in opposite games or something like that. It doesn't have to be Jailbreak. It could be it could be something else that you're doing a lot of videos on. I don't know. Pet Simulator in Lumber. Or Pet Simulator in Jailbreak. Or just two opposites uh, coming together to make a video. It's not really opposites because they're still Roblox. But it's the thought. A lot of you are looking at me going, oh my gosh, Code, this is going to take forever. And yes, it will. Um, so what happened whenever I was building that first bridge is I was making videos over nothing but building the bridge. So I will do, I won't do that. We're way too close to Halloween. Halloween updates are coming. Oh, wait, should I do that? Should I should go show you? A lot of you have been saying, um, look at the candy bar, follow the, the eagle. I fear that this ladder, can I grab that? I can. Oh, I should not do that, okay. I, f I, I thought that was going to be a little bit more difficult, but I guess not. Okay, let's uh, let's show you how to fill these in real quick. Uh, I've got, already got some doors pre-built right there, but we gotta be able to put them in here. So, um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to open these doors up in order to place doors where they need to go. So let's go down here. I wonder if I can do this. Let's just do open, open, um, open, open. Now if I move this door, the top door should move. And now if I move this door, the door above it should move. And now if I move this door, the door above it should move, right? Oh my goodness, brilliant, glorious. Du -du 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 -du. All right, is this one already open? Yep, that one's open, so if I move the door just below it, it'll open. It'll open, great. Uh, same thing for that one, I need to open that door and then move the door that's below it. Move, B. Now these two doors are technically on the same plane, so you can't really see them, but that's okay. Uh, but that should be no. I'm, I'm gonna have to open up all those doors. So let's start by building over here first. Uh, no, actually, that's it's even more difficult. Where do I want to go up to? I'll, I'll just go up to right here. So um, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay, maybe, possibly. Hold on. I can't see behind me. All right. Boop. There's something in the way there. Uh, actually, here, if I come back over to this one and then I go up, that'll give me greater camera control. Uh, I'm gonna have to open up all these, aren't I? Ah, oh, dang it. All right, is this one open? Open door. And then open door. Open door. Open door, hello message and open door. So no. <clears throat> Love is an open door. Sorry. <clears throat> Frozen got stuck in my head for some reason. Let's move this one. Whoa! What did that do? Did that do all of them? Oh, <gasps> nice. All of them just opened up. That was beautiful. Okay, so open all the doors first and then, well, you don't want to do that for the whole thing. Oof. Oof. Is what I would say to that. Hmm. Okay, well, at least they're set. So, we're ready to go. These are already open. So all we gotta do is place them 
in the places where they need to be placed. I think. Maybe. Now if I remember right, I need to turn, turn, like that, and then rotate, rotate. And then that should be the correct position. Yep. And that's just because I remembered where my doors were the first time. So. Um, actually, I should probably... Yeah, that's okay. I'll start on... No. That one's already expanded all the way up. So that one's, that one's good. I need to... Oh gosh. I can't think of which side needs the door first. It's going to be easier once I get above the... Uh... Blink. There we go. That's what I need to do. I need to go on that side. Let's move this one. Move this this one. Right there. Is that two? I need two more. Move. Right there. And is that yep, one more. One more. To make it even across the top. Perfect. Now I go move. I'm gonna go rotate, rotate. We're gonna need to do the same on the opposite side. <clears throat> Oof. Oof. Oofers. This is gonna be easier once we get up there. I promise. Oh, that was not even. Oh, wait, what was it? Maybe. Actually, I think that was. Let's go open and close that door. Alright. Yeah, it's one unit overlapped. It's right where I need it to be, so that works. Sweet. I'm gonna need to build some more doors. More door. <laughs> um, you know what? This glass is just kinda in the way here. So for the moment, let's move this stuff over. We can always put it back. Why are you expanding so that, that was awesome. I've never seen it line up so well before. There we go. And it's so transparent. Like, where'd the glass go? Alright, we got two. I need three more right there. And then we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll be fine. Plenty of time. Code? You've got time. Just relax and build. That's what I came in here for. Oh, come on. Come on. There. Oh, ah. Uh, mm hmm. Got it. And it will take practice. The more you do this, the easier it will become, I promise. Oh, dang it. Okay, so. Oh, there it went. So what was happening was, um, if you ever place down something that you just built or moved, um, you might get caught in what's called an autosave fail. Not not an autosave fail, but it's where it tried to autosave at the same time you tried to place something. And it does happen. Move. Uh, when that happens, you will lose blueprints and technically they're not lost. As soon as you place them somewhere, they're still there. You just can't see them. Oh, that's, this, okay, this is going to be nice and difficult. Oh, oh up one. Oh, mm, perfect. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> I just need one more on there, right? I think. I think one more. We'll be good. Basic door. And basic door. That should, should be it. To expand... Is this palm one? Oh, I hope so. Boop. <laughs> Got some amazing palm wood. Alright. Hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
what are you attaching to? Because that was not where I needed it. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oof. That it? Is that it? I think so. I think that's nice and even. Okay, now I could go back through and just close all the doors and then like move them and all that good stuff. I'm gonna reload. I mean, I got a, a fairly small base right here, so let's do this. <clears throat> You're gonna see all these doors are going to close back up on themselves and they should be attached whenever it loads back in. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Here we go. And I can load back in over there on the actual slot where it's supposed to be. <sighs> so lots of things to think about on how you're going to build your Palm Bridge. And don't jump into it thinking, oh, I'm just going to get this done in a few hours because it takes a really long time. Like this is, this is a long game. If you're going to build a Palmwood Bridge, you're looking at a good month's worth of work. Um, well, I say that. You could probably get this done in, I would say, 10 hours of straight work. Like, because if you watch my videos, I am I do 30 minute increments. So 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. And it took me like 12 episodes to build the actual walking palm. Code, stop talking about statistics. Okay, I'm sorry. It took, it took a long time. I look back now at like the gold bridge videos and the, the palmwood bridge videos and I'm like that was a lot of video so uh, the only other thing I could think of is a toll bridge video which I mean that wouldn't take very long oh did I load I loaded back over there didn't I same spot yeah why did I load back over there I wanted to load over here on the correct slot it's okay it's late Nobody blames me. And, you know, it's nice to walk in the morning air with the fog. Hmm. Smell the dew on the grass. The leaves rustling in the wind. Sorry, we just totally went ASMR channel right there. My bad. Wait. Where's all the doors? Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, it didn't do what I thought it was going to. Why are some of these open and some of these closed? All right, let's go ahead and close. Check that. Is that door closed? Closed door. Need to check these for door closures. If it if you move your mouse over one of the, the door handles and it says closed door, go ahead and close it. You're not going to see anything happen, but that means that the door's state is open. See, like this one says closed door, but that one says open door. That, one, that one's set, that one's ready. So, closed door. Check this one, closed door. Ooh. What about that one? Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Now that one says open door, so I don't need to touch that one. So these should all now be, my goodness, code. The insanity of trying to figure out if your doors are open or closed. Let's close the door. Close the door. And close the door. There we go. There we go. And that's how you build a cross. So if you're, if you're looking to build up, you got a video for that. If you're looking to build a cross, you got a video for that. We've got tons of videos already. Now, what I'd really like to see, and this is just me thinking out loud, I would love to see a base where all of the outside is like that high of doors all the way around. And what you do is like you come down to the corner and you hit a button or something and 
all the, the doors like either fold out or fold in so it looks like a big present that opens up that would be that that I think that would be cool that would be awesome but that's just a thought it's an idea we're at 20 minutes oh my gosh I can I can keep building or we can go on an adventure what do we want to do mmm well I know I just asked you a question it's you probably answered and you're like let's go on an adventure or something along that lines but um yeah I, I, it's recorded video <laughs> thank you for answering hmm I guess I could try and look for Spookwood, but it's a private server, so I highly doubt there's Spookwood here. Although, if I never look, I'll never know. I tell you what I'll do. Since we do have 10 minutes, I will go show you what the um, follow the red uh, eagle is, or follow the eagle. So. Alright. So, secrets revealed with code. That is not a truck. <laughs> what about this? That's a truck. There we go. Okay. Let's go do this. Turn the lights on, code. It's early morning. The dew is still in the meadow. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. Just here to pick up some candy. <laughs> Very good. You've got a sweet tooth, I see. Well, um, yeah, I'm gonna eat them. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Tom. All right, let's go ahead and just open these up. Hopefully I got all the, oh, there we go. All the bars I'll need. Where is it? Is that the developer's bar? Yeah, three developer's bar at the bottom. It says, follow the red eagle, okay? A lot of you have been like, what does it mean? Oh my gosh, I don't understand. Follow, it's a clue. Okay. <clears throat> boop, boop, boom. There's the red eagle. Okay. The red eagle is a symbol of the smuggler's thing. So, uh, Saranok prefers ice cream to all other foods or earthly pleasures in general. Really, really, uh, really red is the new red. Here once lies a simple jest. That was a, the joke about selling hints for Robux, or selling secrets, intern secrets for Robux. Bulletin, bulletin, bulletin is just supposed to be a joke. Like, hey, look, it's a bulletin board. I don't know what this is. Sal meal. I don't know if he drew that or what's going on. Anyhow, the whole point of Follow the Red Eagle is for um, the. <laughs> The, the thing, the rookie, rookie. So, come in here, grab some sand. It's $1,600. It's the most expensive sand in the world. You want one bag of sand for $1,600. Now, the only thing I could think of is if the money itself, no, because it's got commas in there. If you were to take the actual money and make the first two zeros like pennies and cents or the, the change of it that would make more sense sorry we're still we're still on about the uh, the red eagle that's what we're doing the red eagle is in reference to the rookie X that's a, it's almost like a slogan now like uh, no 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 I don't want what's the catch uh, okay okay, okay. I'll take it. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't mean to question you, Saranok. I mean, I've purchased the bridge billions of times. Okay, so basically, um, a slogan. Uh, you catch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Skittles. Like, there's their slogan. So it's like, follow the red eagle. <laughs> Three developers bar, follow the red eagle. <laughs> That's that's what it's kind of turning into. It's turning into like a slogan. Oh, wait. Another clue. Hello. Blink. Open this up. Follow the eagle. Illuminati. Follow the eagle. By the way, you can find that on the back of the dollar bill. The US dollar bill, I think. Is it still on the dollar bill? Or something like a five or something. I don't remember. <clears throat> Anyhow, come in here to find some furniture. 
And then you got to go into this right here. Are you still closed? This is Casey, right? Who's that over there? Is that Corey? I don't know. Alright. So, you gotta get the ice cream. So technically this is a light bulb. But look, it looks like an ice cream cone. Alright, let's go. Boop. And there's more to the smuggler's den than meets the eye. It's it's actual avatars that I think were part of the uh, the whole Roblox intern program. And Josh was part of that at the time that he was building Lumber Tycoon 2. I can't remember the full story. Anyhow, for all of you old school players. By the way, if you if you want to know like how long ago I started Lumber Tycoon 2, the beta axe was still on the shelf. So Lumber was in beta. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna need some TNT. Hey Tom. Or not Tom. Oh I am so sorry, Bob. I just called you Tom. Heh. <laughs> You want this dynamite? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. I'm, I'm so sorry. You know Tom's my brother, right? I didn't know that, Bob. I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Are you guys brothers? Just saying, because it's like, he has antlers on his head. What are you saying? Nothing. <clears throat> Better grab these worms right here. I'll just take some worms to go, please. Yes. 3,200. Okay, that should be all right. Let's go. Let's go. And remember this, okay? You are going to need this for Halloween Day. It happens once a year. It only lasts for one day. On October 31st, you need, you must, you have to go get one light bulb, one sandbag, and one can of worms. Dude, really? It was not three minutes. Was it three minutes? I guess we're right there, aren't we? Okay. 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 And you're going to have to get some TNT. So, make sure you get those four things. Um, total cost should be around 8000 7600 Somewhere around in there is your total cost. But that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go show you where the Red Eagle is. Follow the Red Eagle. The whole... Follow the Red Eagle. Now, in Nutrition Grain Bars. <laughs> Defaultio, if you're watching, that's what we need. We're going to need some Nutrition Grain Bars after this because it's so much candy. Yeah. Or you could give us a toothbrush. That would be pretty cool. For brushing our teeth after eating so much candy. I don't know. I'll just... <coughs> it's late. I'm having fun. I said that already. Alright, let's grab the TNT. Come here, TNT. Alright. I probably should have grabbed two because I don't know if this is going to work in the first sweep. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Boop. That's a nice boulder. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. And boom! Oh my goodness. That was a good one. Alright. So, heading this direction. Music is messed up because Roblox took it out because they thought it was a copyright, but it's not. And Defaultio, I would say fight for that one. Because the, the music's been here forever. Forever. In fact, uh, where is it? Lumber Tycoon 2 Soundtrack. There we go. And there should be a list of the... Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh man! Where's the winter? Uh, Island Safari Tropics, there it is. There it is, oh! So much better. 
by the way. It's This is Ambient E Singing Bells by Frank Nora. It is a free song. It is open. No copyright. And if, if anybody can test it, then challenge it. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Getting off on a tangent again, Code. So if you come over here to this little corner inside the winter biome, look. Okay, sorry. That is a little bit loud, isn't it? Is that better? Turn up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, okay, cool. Right there. Right here. This is the Red Eagle. All right. Nothing crazy, nothing weird. It's the Red Eagle. That's that's it. And you take your things, get them all stacked up here, ready to go. Just put them right beside the uh, the eagle. We got our sand, boop, and our worm, and our light bulb. All right. Look directly down. There's a door. Drop these in. Like this is this is old news. Oh, easy. This is old news to me. I've done this multiple times, but. Everybody's like freaking out about the uh, the label. Ooh, wait a second. Idea. I have candy. Three developers bar. Okay, totally lost it. There you go. In the hatch. There it went. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe. Where did it go? There it is. I haven't even tried putting these these things, different combinations on their plates, to see if there's anything else that comes down here. Oh, <gasps> new video coming out soon. All right. Anyhow, light bulb goes over here. Boop, like that. We'll take this, put it down. Can goes here. Maybe a can of worms. Oh. Maybe is that it? That's not it. I messed up somehow. Oh, okay. Broccoli goes over there, and can of worms goes there. There you go. And that's where the rookie comes from. Can I grab that again? I can't grab those. If you don't pick up the rookie axe, can you take it outside with you? Like it'll still float. Oh, It lost the magic. I've got the magic in me. No, you're saying. Um, there. That's how to get the rookie axe. And... Um, I do have a toy rookie axes available on um, sturdyguns.com. Look what I did there. See, I inserted like an advertisement. So but you can go to the link that's in the description down below if you want one of the toy axes. It's also on my about page. Um, they are wooden axes that are handmade by um, this the lovely couple. Uh, they're actually local to uh, Missouri. I think they're local to Missouri. Yeah, they're in Missouri. But they create these axes, and I asked them if they would do this whole contract deal with Defaultio, and they did it. So, there you go. You can purchase one, and they're fun. Anyhow, it's up to you. You don't have to. Go check them out, at least. You know, say hi. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. Um, that can, like, I wanted to make sure that you knew Follow the Red Eagle meant the Rookie Axe. Like, that's... That's what this means. It's the whole thing. Now, if there's another secret about taking the candy bars and placing them on the plates in a different order or something like that, maybe. Who knows? There's a whole bunch of different combinations. 
I would have to come up with a table of all possible bars and all possible combinations, place them on there to see if it would actually work or not, and that would take a lot of time. I think that would take a lot longer than a 30 minute video, and I'm not sure, but I don't think you guys would be interested in that. It's something you could think of. How many different combinations of the different candy bars could you come up with if there's X amount of candy bars and three plates? Remember, that also includes developer bar, developer bar, developer bar, developer bar. So all three of the same kind. Good luck. I hope somebody comes up with an answer. It's up to you. If you want to do the mathematics, you can comment it down below. I I'm, I'm, don't know who's going to be right. But that should be fun. That'll be a good, good little challenge. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I will talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.